In this episode, I fly to Japan and see some incredible landscapes along the way and learn about the Japanese culture. I had been traveling around Fiji, New Zealand, Indonesia, and Australia, but now it was time to head out. My time in Australia had been great, but I was very excited to go to the airport in Sydney. Just got to the airport here on the train. I was on my way to Japan from the Kingsford Smith Airport in Sydney, Australia. Hello, I'm here in the Sky Lounge. It's time to go to the boarding. On my way to Taiwan, Taipei. And from there I'm going to Osaka, Japan. Getting on an airplane is one of the best things I know. It's the start of a new adventure and a new beginning. I was flying across Australia, Indonesia, the Philippines and heading to Taiwan. Gotta hurry up a bit, the boarding is closing in a few minutes. I was on my way again, getting on the next plane. They say that we travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us. I was now coming into Japan, located east of China and close to the eastern border of Russia. I had been invited to Japan by Mr. Nagashi, a former successful athlete and professor. This was Lake Biwa, the biggest lake of Japan and an incredible place with nice scenery and mountains. Lake Biwa has nice sand beaches and crystal clear water. My new friend Mr. Nagashi was going to show me the lifts that take you up to the viewpoints of Biwa Lake. The ride in the lift up to the mountains would take about 10 minutes. It was really interesting for me to hear people speak the Japanese language. Konnichiwa. There are some islands and mountains on the other side of the lake. We're here on the top of uh, Biwako Valley. Okay. Yes, and uh, we are enjoying a very nice view here of the landscape. In the winter, people go skiing here, but in the summer, it's very nice to go hiking. On top of Bivaco Valley, there are some really nice restaurants with incredible views of the landscape. Liftone note maso. We took another lift to different viewpoints to see more of this incredible landscape. In the background, you can see Japan's biggest lake, and here we are at an elevation of 1,200 meters. We came down from the mountain to learn more about the Japanese religion. Here behind me we have a temple or a shrine that's more than 1,000 years old and it's a place of worship and it's also believed that the gods live in here. Here in Japan we have two different religions, Buddhism and Shintoism. Shintoism is the main religion besides Buddhism. There was no founder of Shintoism and there are no sacred scriptures like the Bible. Shintoism is more of a lifestyle than religion and it's an optimistic faith, believing that humans are fundamentally good. This is the Shiga Shrine, and in the morning, the sun goes up right between it, and it casts shadows on the temple here on the other side. The Shinto shrines can be seen all over Japan, and the main purpose of them is to house a kami. Kami are the spirits and phenomena that are worshipped in Shintoism. Even though Japan has 125 million people, there are still some incredible and amazing areas up in the mountains. I came back down to the ground level to see the peaceful and nice scenery of Japan. 
Mr. Nagashi and his wife were going to introduce me to the Japanese food that consists mostly of fish and veggies. I've been uh, enjoying this uh, Japanese food uh, with tun tun fish. tuna. Yes. Tun. Very nice and a um, couple of different sauces and uh, soups. Oh. <laughs> The most famous sport in Japan is golf. We are ready uh, for a round of golf here in Japan. At uh, this very nice golf course and there's four of us. There are many golf courses all over Japan. Even though sumo wrestling is a popular sport, golf is among the most popular ones. Golf champion. Golf <laughs> champion. Golf champion. Bye! Bye! We have been invited for dinner. Now I was about to try one of the most famous foods called shabu shabu. We've been invited by uh, our uh, new friend here yeah. for uh, dinner, and he has made uh, lots of uh, Japanese food for us. Shabu shabu is a Japanese dish of thinly sliced meat and vegetables boiled in water and served with dipping sauces. We have been eating all this food, and it's time for the dessert rice and uh, fish. After dinner, we were served Japanese coffee. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we're having Japanese coffee. coffee. <laughs> Please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the icon in the down left corner. Thank you for watching.